Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Here's a Funkoverse game expansion for the Kool-Aid Man. You can see him busting out through here. You flip it over, you're going to get a good explanation of what's in it. Now, this one's a little bit different. There's a couple of these released that are just individualized pops that you're going to get. So these pops are going to be a little bit smaller than normal. You can see this is the Kool-Aid Man, who I remember from my childhood. So it's going to have a limited appeal, those that remember the commercials and the advertisement. You can see the ice sitting on the top there. He is top heavy, so they always come with these little stands. There's a hole right here in his foot that you can put that in, and then they kind of sit on the board, if you will. Each of these are going to come with these little crystal gems that count up the victory points. You're going to have a few of those inside. He's also going to come through with these three tiles. And what's important about these three tiles is this is what you're going to do when you bust through a wall. That's going to be his main power. Underneath here is where you're going to find the additional information. You're going to get his power here. So bust through. When Kool-Aid Man moves through a wall using his abilities, place a rubble token. That are these. If all rubble tokens have been placed, move one of them instead. So he can bust through walls, which is really cool with him. Move three, then Kool-Aid Man must end this move adjacent to an ally. This action may move Kool-Aid through walls. Challenge three to all adjacent rivals. Use it, but only if Kool-Aid Man has moved. And then move one, challenge three. This action may move Kool-Aid Man through walls. So his big ability is going to be able to open up walls and move through. And once this rubble is out, anyone else can move through also. You're going to get a little rule book, which if you've been through this, you know. And this one's going to fold out like so. Gonna tell you how to play through him, how to do how he can move with the walls that are there, and they become uh, movable for everybody. And then tips and strategies that you're gonna have to be able to play with him. So what do I think about the Kool-Aid Man overall? I think this is really fun. I remember him from my childhood. Even like my kids who don't remember the Kool-Aid Man just think he's fun. He's got this big smile and he's goofy, and it's just like a weird addition to the series. Whenever going through IPs and adding things, I never would have thought that the Kool-Aid Man would one would be somebody that was in the game, but more importantly, be one of the first people. I mean, he's one of the top 20 people added to the franchise so far. It's really funny. Now, this is going to be a little bit cheaper. You're just going to get the one character, and you're going to be able to utilize him through. It is kind of unique that he can move through the walls, which is kind of nice. Is he the first person? I, mean, I think it's going to depend on your attachment to this character, and I think that's what Pop Funko Verse is going for. The more attachment you have to the character, the more you're going to want to add this guy. And I did remember, I did grow up with the Kool-Aid Man. He's really funny. When I saw him, I grabbed him. I think he's one that you'll have fun playing through and playing with. A great addition to the series. Two thumbs up for me. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.